Okay, here we are running at what I think is the correct speed for a hit and miss engine. Took some more friggin' with the springs, but we're right in the RPM range that I like. The top of this damn cable is just like a drum, so it sounds louder than it would normally be. But, I would say at this point, I'm going to label this engine a success. It's running consistently, going in and out of hit and miss. Uh, thank you all for having a look and having followed the thread. You can quite clearly see the uh, hit and miss lever popping in there underneath that catch to make the engine go into miss mode. Thank you all very much for following this. It's been a very, very 